Hello everyone, welcome to the online platform of Vidya Aradhana Academy. I am Kiran Patil and we are back with another session of our PYQ series. Fine. In this session, we will discuss the questions of electromagnetic inductions which were asked in the last 5 years that is from 2016 to 2020. Fine. So, it is very very important topic as far as your need is concerned. So, we without wasting much of our time, let us start with the first question which was asked in the NEET examination. Fine. So, a 800 turn coil of effective area 0 0.05 meter square. So, area is given to us, it is equal to 0 0.05 meter square is kept perpendicular to a magnetic field field is given to us b is equal to 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 tesla when the plane of the coil is rotated by 90 degree that means we have two theta initially initially if you understand initially the plane is perpendicular whenever the plane is perpendicular to the field we can say that the area vector and the magnetic field is making angle theta equal to zero degrees fine so there are two different angles which are the two different angles which we have here theta one is the initial angle which is zero degrees and theta two is the angle which is we have after the 90 degree rotation so theta 2 will be 90 degrees fine around any of its coplanar axis in time is also given to us time that time is 0 0.01 seconds fine the emf induced in the coil will be so we have to find the emf induced in the coil so to find that emf induced in the coil we have to simplify the case how we are going to simplify this let us see so we know that emf is equal to minus of n d phi by dt n is 800 and n is given to us it is n d phi by dt so this is our main equation which we are using to find the value of induced emf they have asked us the value of emf induced fine so to find that first of all i have to understand this is given i have to find this now, what is d phi d phi is nothing but final flux minus the initial flux fine so what is final flux final flux we are going to get at this particular point so d phi 2 is equal to n b a cos of theta fine cos of theta theta in this case is how much theta is 90 degrees so phi 2 becomes equal to 0 as simple as that so similarly if i want to find the value of phi 1 i have the equation n b a cos of theta 1 here the theta was second fine second theta is 90 degrees so the value is 0 cos 0 is 1 so i have n how much 800 into it 100 into magnetic field B, 5 into 10 to the power, how much? Magnetic field is minus 5 Tesla into area, area is 0 0.05, so 5 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter square. So if we simplify this, we are going to get the concerned flux, that is 5 1, so how much is the value? It will be 25 into 8, 200, so 200, this 2000 into 10 to the power minus 7. Fine. So, if we simplify this, what we are going to get, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, cancel out 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 Weber is the flux. This much is the flux in the initial case. So, d phi. Now, we have to find the value of d phi. d phi will be equal to d phi will be equal to phi 2 minus phi 1. So, it gives me the value, negative value because phi 2 is 0, 0 minus this. So, this value will be 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 Weber. Fine. So, I have got d phi also, dt is there and d phi. Actually, this value is of n d phi. Fine. This is n d phi because this was n phi 2. This was n phi 1. So, final value will be emf is equal to minus of n d phi by dt 
so n d5 value we are having minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 sir kasakai why you are calling this as n d5 because i have multiplied this flux with the number of turns available fine if i don't multiply it will be normal 5 1 value fine as i have taken 800 turns which are associated here so that is why i have written n d5 fine so divided by what is the dt time time is 0 0.01 so it will be 10 to the power minus 2 this goes in the numerator minus and this minus will cancel out this equation is minus nd5 so minus and minus will cancel out minus of minus this gets cancelled out so final answer is how much this goes in the numerator it will be 2 into 10 to the power what is time 0 0.1 sorry this is 0 0.01 seconds fine so it will be 10 to the power minus 1 goes in the numerator it becomes 10 to the power minus 2 so the answer is 0 0.02 volts that is emf please choose for the correct option the correct option here will be yes fourth is the correct answer fine so some of you might stop at this particular point and write this as the answer this is not the voltage so many students had asked me this doubt they had see they had written this particular answer but this is the amount of flux that will not be the answer so 0 0.02 that is fourth option will be our consent option answer fine so please pause and write the answer once you write this particular answer we move to the next question so if I move to the next question, a long solenoid of diameter 0.1 meter has a 2 into 10 to the power 4 turns per meter. At the center of the solenoid, a coil of 100 turns and radius 0 0.01 meter is placed with its axis coinciding with the solenoid axis. Fine. So what is given to us? They have given us a large solenoid like this. Fine inside this large solenoid a small solenoid is placed so that both of them are having same axis their axis is same as they are having same axis they are called as co-axis or coincide axis is coinciding with the solenoid fine now the current in the solenoid reduces at a constant rate to zero from four that means we have two values final current is zero amperes initial current is how much 4 amperes understand this case is fine so this is initial current this is final current in a time dt time is also given to us 0 0.05 seconds this is the time if the resistance of the coil r is also given to us resistance is how much 10 pi square ohm so if resistance is given we must have to find charge the total charge flowing through the coil in this time is so we have to find the charge flowing in the coil no problem fine so we have to understand this question can be solved multiple times using mutual induction also you can solve but there is one more method we can simplify first of all i can find the value of magnetic field b1 magnetic field b1 is the magnetic field associated with this particular simple solenoid fine now as this current is in uh, this particular current is changing initially the we can turn this magnetic flux as this final before that understand the final current is zero final current is zero fine that is why final magnetic field will also be zero hence the final flux must be zero as the final value of current is zero the concerned magnetic field magnetic field what is the equation for the magnetic field of solenoid mu naught n i so if the current is final current is zero hence current is zero the entire value of field is zero if magnetic field is zero hence the flux will be zero i hope you people are understanding yes now if these things are there it becomes very easy for us to understand so initial cases are simplified now initial current they have given me as 4 amperes so the magnetic field in initial cases will be given as mu naught n i initial current fine so all these things the, we had this field we are finding about the initial solenoid this solenoid one 
this is solenoid 2 they are talking about the magnetic field due to the first solenoid larger solenoid fine so what is the value mu naught value we are having 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into n n is how much given 2 into 10 to the power 4 2 into 10 to the power 4 into current how much you have given that is 4 amperes the current given to us is 4 so if we simplify 4 into 4 16 16 into 2 32 into pi pi value will keep as it is because we are going to use that pi afterwards so 32 pi into 10 to the power minus 3 tesla is the concerned field in this case now once i get the value of field i am going to find the value of a flux here what is the value of flux associated in this case let us see the value of a flux associated in this particular case will be what let us discuss fine so the value of a flux phi which is the flux the f initial flux initial current so initial flux initial field we got final flux is zero initial flux is what it will be n b a cos of theta now theta angle will be zero as both the things magnetic field is perpendicular to the coil so it will be zero no issues with the theta value n n now this particular n whatever we are finding this n value is what how much the value of n will be turns as 100 how much turns are there yes 100 turns are there into magnetic field is how much magnetic field is 32 pi into 10 to the power minus 3 into area area they have given us the radius the radius they have given us once the radius we are having it will be pi r square so pi into r 10 to the power minus 2 whole square that is the concerned answer so if you simplify this the flux value phi will be equal to how much 100 into 32 pi square into 10 to the power minus 4 okay so this 2 gets cancelled out it becomes n to 10 to the power minus 3 this is remaining this we have taken so it will be 32 pi square this 2 we cancel out so it will be into 10 to the power minus 7 plus 2 minus 5 weber so once we get the value of a flux this is the total flux now we can find the charge total charge total q is equal to total flux divided by resistance r fine so total flux value we are having 32 pi square into 10 to the power minus 5 divided by resistance they have given us how much yes this is the value of resistance how much 10 pi square ohm pi square pi square cancel out so it becomes 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 5 charge is there so coulombs that is the answer please choose the option okay so they have removed the decimal point if i shift this this side it becomes minus 6 so it is answer charge q is equal to 32 into it will be minus 6 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb so 32 micro coulombs 32 micro coulombs is the option number second that is our answer please pause the video and write the answer okay so let us move to the next question in which of the following devices the eddy current effects is effect is not used now the eddy current effect we are knowing eddy currents are the circular circulating currents which are which cause lo large amount of heat fine right? so it is used it will be used in furnace induction furnace it will be used it will be used in magnetic breakings yes absolutely it will be used in heaters so what is not it will not be used in electromagnets electromagnet does not require eddy currents any any amount any type of current will be used in this electromagnet so the correct answer for this question is c the eddy currents are not used in electromagnets fine eddy currents due to eddy currents there are a lot of losses heat losses are there fine these devices are using the eddy currents in its uh, positive way fine but the electromagnet if we use eddy current in electromagnet there will be a lot of heat loss that means energy will be lost so the electromagnet is a device which does not use eddy currents in it fine so if it is understood we move to the next question the magnetic potential energy stored in a certain inductor inductor is device which a simple coil can be called as an inductor we are knowing that fine so the energy 
given to us is how much u is given to us that is 25 into 10 to the power minus 3 joule that means the energy when the current in the inductor is a 60 milliampere fine so i is also given to us that is 60 into 10 to the power minus 3 amperes now they have asked us to find the this inductor is of inductance so we are knowing u is equal to half of l i square so uh, if i want to find the value of l 2 comes this side so 2 into the value of uh, 25 into 10 to the power minus 3 is equal to l i square also comes this side i is 60 so it will be 60 into 60 into minus 3 minus 3 minus 6 fine so this is the thing we have to simplify this let us simplify 2 this becomes 30 5 this becomes 12 5 this becomes 6 this goes in the numerator plus 6 plus 6 minus 3 so the value of l will be 1 into plus 6 minus 3 10 to the power 3 divided by how much we are having 12 into 6 72 okay so we have to simplify this how do we simplify it will be 1000 divided by 72 500 divided by 36 simplify 250 divided by 18 now we can divide 18 ones up you know a try katra what is remaining 7 so it becomes 70 70 18 3 is a 54 54 how much is remaining 16 is remaining so if i give point it becomes 160 18 5 is a 90 90 108 126 144 so 18 8 is a 144 so if 144 is remaining, 16 is remaining so it will be 13.88 and so on fine so such option let us choose it is option number three that much henry of inductance is available with that particular inductor fine so if you see very simple question if you understand please write the solution and we will be going to the next particular question a solenoid has thousand turns when so the solenoid is given with n equal to one thousand turns when a current of i is equal to four ampere current of four ampere flows through it the magnetic flux linked with each turn of the solenoid is fine flux linked flux linked with each turn flux linked with each turn is equal to how much they have given 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 Weber so we can simply find flux total total flux is equal to n into we write n5 fine so n5 is n is thousand thousand into 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 this gets cancelled out so the total flux t phi t this will be equal to 4 Weber that is the total flux associated the self inductance of the solenoid is very very simple what do we know here we know flux phi is directly proportional to L into I hey na? flux is proportional to current proportional sign is removed L is introduced so inductance is equal to flux by current so L is equal to flux is 4 current is 4 this becomes L is equal to 1 Henry very very simple question fine so these are the questions which were asked in your need examinations in the last five years of need fine such type of easy questions are asked in this emi section very very easy topic i hope you people are studying enjoying and learning to watch the videos and understand how to solve such type of questions asked in the need examinations for now we stop here all the best and keep studying we stop thank you